Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to show you uh, if your ankle is tight, question mark, how and why are you going to increase the mobility? By the way, if you're new to our channel, oh, please wow. take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Go to bobandbrad.com. We're always giving something away. What are we giving away, Brad? We don't know. This is a future video. Oh, this is a future one. Yeah. Okay, then. So go to Facebook. It'll also be pinned to the top of the page. Of the either page. one. You try either one. You can go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. That's right. In the we don't ramble. And podcasts are out now. We've got some excellent uh, guests and uh, authors and right. really smart people. Yep. All right. So why do you want to increase ankle mobility? Well, there's a lot of reasons. One, when you want to bend over and pick something up, like when you want to do a squat, if you don't have ankle motion, you're actually going to go forward like this, and you're actually going to, it may, may push you back. Right. Because you don't have the, the mobility. The mechanics of it, because your heel lifts up and you're on yeah, your Yeah, we're really talking about foot. mobility, especially this way. Right. Dorsiflexion. Dorsiflexion. Yep. Yeah. Upwards. Uh, lunges. Again, difficult to do unless you have ankle mobility. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, because when you're just on the ball, your foot, your balance is uh, quite a bit more challenged. Yep. And that's the next one is balance, um, mm -hmm. especially if you if you were a person that wore high heels all your life mm -hmm. and the cord has shortened up in the back, the Achilles tendon, the Achilles tendon, mm -hmm. it, you're gonna want it's gonna want to push you back almost. Sure. So, uh, with walking, running. Uh, we just found out with my daughter, um, she was having foot pain for years, and I finally discovered that her, her calf muscle was really tight. Yeah. She stretched her calf muscle, and she massages it, and lo and behold, yeah. her foot pain went away. Did she get mad at you? Say, why didn't you tell me that a decade no, ago? No, she was happy, but I was a little mad at myself because I'm like, how long did I let her deal with this? <laughs> so as a general rule of thumb, you want to uh, first off see if you're – Calf is tight. Sure. Your ankle is tight. And there's an easy way to do it. Yes, there you is. You don't need equipment or really anything. Do you want to go over and yes. show up, Brad? Let's, can you come over this way, Tanner? You can take that band out of there, Brad. Oh, yeah. We're going to uh, look at the floor. I've got some tape here. You just need to, to measure from the wall. I've got five inches to the edge of this tape here. Yeah. This is a two-inch wide tape, so we're going to go use a five inch and a six inch and you don't have to be precise right like this. so we, for most people they should be able to at least put their foot five inches away from the wall so the toe yep, yep. the toe and keep your foot flat your yep, heel straight forward yep glued and, to the floor straight forward not like this don't turn the foot out right, right. that's easier and then keep your knee over your toes and see if you can touch Look at that. Oh, I'm a little tight. coming up a little bit. Yep, I'm tight. Is there a, like a modification for when you're getting closer to 60 where you can quit crying? Quit there crying. There we go. I better start stretching a little more, obviously. Okay, let's see the other one. Yep. Let's see how that this one does. Will be an, it is nice to compare right to left. And yeah, I can get eh, tight it's still a little tight, a little bit better on the right. Let me try this. All right. Yeah, let him try. I got barefoot, so which is going to be harder. Because I don't have a heel. Yep. Look at that. Are you touching? Yes. Oh, but you've been stretching and working. I with have yours. been yeah. doing this for a long time. Yes. Now the other day I did this, and one. Well, of them you're did... cheating there. Your toe is past <laughs> the line. <laughs> one of them did uh, come up a little bit. I think yeah. it was this one. So we're looking right, yeah. right here. Does that you that know, comes up? Th um, and for an athlete, if you're a younger athlete, I'd like to see you almost be six inches away. Yeah, so from the wall to and there. And there you can see I am coming up a little yeah. bit on that one. This is a really nice way for the layperson to get a good functional measurement on your ankle range yeah, I'm of I'm coming motion. up to a little wow. bit. So, yeah. all right. The first stretch we're going to do, um, this is an advanced one. Um, you can try these other ones first if you sure. want to, that aren't advanced but this is a, a one that'll help a lot so if you look at the foot model foot and lower leg mm -hmm. we got the tibia and we have the talus 
and that forms a mortar and joint. What are the tennis and tendon and joint? I don't know. Well, I was thinking about something else, Bob. You're on okay. your own. <laughs> I'm on my own. The, the ankle joint right there. We, we got it drawn out on your, right. your foot. So what we're going to want, this bone, this tibia actually slides and rolls over the talus. Right. So we're going to hold this talus in place while you're trying to move that tibia forward. Right. So it's, it's a way to get real specific on where the stretch happens. So here's my tibia bone. That's the bottom of it outlined there. In blue. Yep. And right below it is the talus bone. So I'm going to hold the talus bone with a band. Yes. And then I'm going to rotate or move the yeah. leg actually forward over it. I don't think people care about the tail. They just sure. want to see the exercise. Bob. Sure. <laughs> so you would need a band. Uh, we got the Bob and Brad loops here, but you could use any band uh, that's thick enough and heavy enough. Right. And it is nice to have the, the stretch of heavy one. A little give is good. And other, uh, as opposed to like a leather strap, but you could do that too if you had a more rigid strap. Yeah, I suppose a belt could work, huh? but mm -hmm. you guys have a, some way to attach it there. And then you'll need a stool or some type of chair or something. There's a fair amount of force. So if you go around like the leg of a table or furniture, uh, it's probably going to slide forward. So it has to be something more very stable and rigid. To All right, go. so I'm going to come up here. So I'm going to do this just for yep. make it a little faster. So we're going to put it underneath that right. joint line. It's going to go underneath your ankle bones, the medial malleal, and lateral and medial malleolus. And malleolus. while you're in this position, Ooh. that's going to pull it back, the tail is back, or stabilize the tail is. Sure. And I'm going to work on bending it forward further and further yep. and give it a good stretch. And you'll feel the difference between stretching it like this versus uh, like if you're doing a wall stretch, you got that right. extra support. Again, this is an advanced one. This is for people who are really serious about getting this motion back and they right. want to be better at squatting or whatever. It's just a great one to do. All right. The next one you can do is that anybody could do these. Uh, you could use a foam roller on your calf muscle because your calf muscle could be tight. That's right. Bob. Now, if you don't have a foam roller, I just saw this where... This is a pretty aggressive one, Brad, but they actually take a big PVC pipe. Oh, sure. You know, like a five inch or six inch PVC pipe. Yeah. And but buy if, it from a, like it, a big it, box store. And If you got to buy 10 feet of it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you probably wanna, is gonna, unless you're doing some plumbing anyway. Yeah, you want to buy yeah. just a foot length, probably. Yeah. Um, or, you know, maybe you know somebody that has some. Otherwise, uh, but typically, uh, one of these foam rollers like this really works well I'm, now look I'm what brad's doing here muscle. he's actually he's actually lifting his butt up and putting another i'm sorry just burped another leg over the top of that leg so i like to actually get right down on that achilles tendon as well and work that uh and then get up into that muscle of the gastroc and the, the other thing i would suggest brad is you can actually dorsiflex and uh, plantar flex the ankle while you're on yeah. on the foam roller. Yep. So I'm, I'm doing this motion you, so we get that. Uh, you, you're getting the entire muscle and right. if there's any adhesions you're helping work that. You can also turn the foot. Like, yep, turn it that way and work it and turn, and turn it Whoa. inside. Bob, I'm getting a tricep uh, cramp Oh, on my here. God. Yeah, well, I've been working my triceps at home oh, pretty aggressively. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. And yep, so he's turning it that way. Good. Whoa. Now, um, I suppose you could use a coffee can maybe too. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. You get coffee, it'll open up coffee. Yeah. And a lot of the coffee cans are now plastic. And yeah, that's right. Brown. They don't have the old Folgers yeah. uh, can that yeah. they used to have. Now, the probably the best way to do this is to get a massage gun. <laughs> so, yeah, let's grab a massage gun, is, Brad. You and, know, and, you know, these are pretty popular. A lot of people may already have them. Um, but you need to get the one that reciprocates or moves back and forth right. this way. Um, and, and that, this one has a soft head. Most of them always come with a variety of heads. Some are more aggressive. This one's air filled. It's a softer one. Bob's got this some. This one's not even out yet. Um, oh, that's it's right. It's going to be soon. Yeah. Uh, this is our one for athletes. Um, yeah, for the real, real aggressive this people. This one's really aggressive enough for most people. Yep. Yep. Boy, I really like working around my Achilles tendon. I do this every morning. You I, do? Uh, yeah, my calves have. Whether it needs it or not. 
Well, and you can see how it paid off. You know, Ed, the, yeah, yeah, and I'm a little tighter. I yeah. don't do this every morning. Um, and I, I use the incline board. Are we going to talk about the incline board? Oh, yeah, you could do the incline board. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't even mention that. I was oh, going to show it. I really, well, that's I was my trying favorite. To, I was trying to show th some things that are less common. Sure. Uh, and one was the uh, use of a ball, Brad, where you actually just get in that position yeah. and, and hang out in there. I mean, we're not going to show the... the the plain Jane go to wall stretch. Yeah, we can show that too. Yeah. We'll you know, just yeah. like this. Yep, and you can do it with the leg straight, and you can do it with the leg bent. Yep. Uh, you're going to want to hold these. Trying to keep these. the heel on the ground while yep. you're doing it. Not like this, but um, and the, you just bring your foot farther away. You know, you could actually do the same stretch that you do for the test. Yep. Uh, and you're going to get a stretch. The nice thing about this is. You I like get it. body weight yeah. working in your favor. Well, also what I like about Brad, it's even if you normally can't squat. Will you uh, stick, please? If you can't squat all the way down, yeah. you're going to get closer when you have a ball on the wall because you it takes away the calf. Yeah, see, look yeah. back and get all the way down. Can you get all the way down, Brad, without the ball? I think so. It's not something I do every day unless I'm. Oh, well, look at his heels. Yep, yeah. they're coming up. I mean, I, when I have the ball, I can lean back very right. comfortably exactly. and I get a little more, you know, and this is one of those things where I'm going to, I may yeah. even pull my foot in a little bit more and emphasize one yep. ankle at exactly. a time is, is the better way to do it. And you can hang out there. You can you can sit down and go for a minute or two. Um, yeah. Now, in my case, this is going to bother my knee after a while. Um, that's one reason. So I wouldn't do it any for any length of time. Right, on, and I can tell, case. and that's been going on since I was 22 and sure. a half. <laughs> Which was 175 years yeah. ago. Yeah, I do want to, you know, can I mention this, Bob? Sure. I really like the oh, incline yes. board because it's, you don't have to go through any, uh, it gets relatively aggressive, not as, as much as the ones we talked about, but uh, I just have one, you know, that I just do this when I do my other stretching. It's very, when I'm I resting. Use that too. Yeah. And uh, you can buy it. these. You can make them. We've got a video how to make a uh, one in, out of wood. Yeah, inversion. Um, so, but they come in foam. Um, they do. They're they're there's all over a lot. The place. Of, yeah, there's. Yeah. You could find fifty of them on the uh, internet. Yeah, so. absolutely. All right. Um, really important to get those ankles moving. Um, you'll find out you're just going to be a lot more stable when you got to lift things. Yeah, it'll be easier for. Uh, if the movement, movement's not coming from your ankle, it's going to come from somewhere else and often it's your back. Yeah. So this will keep your back in better position. Yeah, it's great if you're a hiker. It makes a big difference when you got uneven terrain. All right, Bob, we can fix just about anything except, except for, for broken uh, heart. That's right. But uh, this has got nothing to do with this. Oh, we're on unlucky 13 minutes here. Holy cow. We better <laughs> cut her right now then. <laughs>